647 right now. We are kicking off Sleep Week on King 5 Mornings with stories every day about one of the most important things that we do. Yeah, bad night sleep can just ruin your whole day. And for some people, that can really cycle out of control. Steve joining us now from the newsroom with a closer look at this. Steve, good morning. Yeah, good morning. We talked about this last hour that a regular sleep pattern is the best thing you can do. Go to sleep, wake up at the same time, even on weekends if you can. But some people have deeper deep sleep issues from sleep apnea, where you're actually waking up multiple times throughout the night to insomnia or restless leg syndrome. Dr. Morris Chang is a pulmonologist and sleep specialist at Swedish Hospital. He says there are about 100 disorders, some of them with severe implications. Some research that suggests uh, problems to uh, people's immune functions, cardiovascular function uh, over time with uh, with chronic sleep deprivation or chronic problems with the quality of their sleep. Dr. Chang says if you're feeling tired all the time, you should get checked out. Even if you feel like, well, that's normal. We got the job, got the spouse, got the kids. It may not be normal. One last thing he said, it's not a myth. Using your cell phone right before you try to go to sleep absolutely prevents you from doing so. So stop using it at least an hour before you close your eyes. And I'm not directing that at anyone in particular, like my wife. I'm just saying this is what the doctor says to do. Guys, back <laughs> Hopefully to you. she's watching this morning. Hopefully she's not. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, thank you, Steve. So right. coming up tomorrow on King 5 Mornings, we're gonna take a closer look at sleeping agents. What to consider adding to your routine and avoiding to get some much needed Z's. Really important series we're tackling this week.